my balloon fish. There's nothing really special about the fish, um, it just fulfills the criteria. Go for balloon, fill it up with a good half an inch at the end. Tie your knot. The balloon fish is really simple. All I'm going to do is take a good half of the balloon and place the knot, place the knot next to the halfway point and twist that together. I make sure that I take the knot and feed it through the gap a few times just so that it doesn't come undone. The tail end is just a simple triangle, so approximately two inches on this side, three inches on the back, and then two inches on that side. I need to adapt that accordingly so that these two bubbles are approximately the same size. Like this. Once I've got those three bubbles, I just take the end and twist that. And you have a simple fish. You could, uh, sometimes I draw eyes on it and sometimes I draw the mouth at the front. That I will do just for the sake of you seeing it. I usually do a mouth like this. I give the, I give the fish a tongue and two teeth. Now oh, that fish have tongues and teeth. Mm -hmm. That's so that people know what it is. And I can do an eye on this side, an eye on this side. And now it looks more familiar to like Nemo or something like that. Okay, so I'll show you that with an over-the-shoulder shot. It's really quite simple, but it's necessary to learn it. So I'll use a big balloon. I'll tie the knot, gauge where the halfway point is, so it's about there, and twist that to that and lock it together. Make a triangle with what's left of the balloon. I'm going to gauge, roughly gauge what the triangles are. So let's go right there, there, and there. Put those ends together and twist and lock. And the fish. And again, just for the sake of it, a mouth. The tongue, two teeth, eye, an eye, and a mouth. And then you get a fish. <laughs>